The buzz around London's Silicon Roundabout appears to be finally paying off. Two companies have been sold this year and the IPO of King, the company behind Candy Crush, has convinced many that money can actually be made right here at London's tech city. These people have come from across the UK and in some cases Europe to make their voices heard. And the focus today is very much solidarity with countries like Spain, Portugal and Greece. It hasn't been plain sailing for Britain's main opposition, Labour Party. They have been criticised for being divided. They've been criticised for lacking a vision. You've always said you need growth as well as austerity, so do you feel vindicated? No, what it makes me feel is that the government set a clear test uh, and they failed that test. Why is Miliband struggling in the polls? He shouldn't be at the He's struggling the in the cycle, polls because he's he? not seen as a decisive leader. He's not up to where Cameron is. And he's about 60% of the population, when polled, say he's not up to the job versus 30% of the UK look up as this Damien McBride thing, is that d damning him as well? But they're trying to dismiss that. They're trying to say that things have changed. And for most people we speak to, they say that Ed Miliband does run a tighter ship. And then there are the automakers, companies like Ford and GM making a real push this year to tie up with mobile companies to make sure you've got all your favourite apps and devices installed right here on the dashboard to give you a seamless driving experience. The Gadget Show here in London is a veritable mecca for tech geeks, showcasing everything from personalised 3D printing to smart TVs and smart pets. Organisers expect around 30,000 people to flock through the doors to check out the hottest gadgets and gizmos for this holiday season. There's still this kind of misperception out there that the people carrying out these attacks are these kind of disgruntled teenagers, but it's not like that. It's sophisticated organised criminals with increasingly cheap tools. I also caught up with the CEO of Arsenal Football Club and asked him why he ditched Nike and what he was going to do with all that cash. If you forget to print out your boarding pass at home, Ryanair will kindly do it for you, but for a £70 fee. This is enough to give many passengers the cold sweat if your onboard luggage doesn't fit perfectly into here. Just, that's another fee for Ryanair. There's this, Binatone's The Brick. It's a phone that Gordon Gecko would be proud of. It's a blast from the past. Maggie?